<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Peter and Matthias. We are the co-founders of Secure Code Warrior, and welcome to our very first Dev Olympics. This is our biggest and best global tournament ever, and we are so excited to have you on board. Now, whether you're a spectator or whether you're playing, we've got so much to share with you, including expert panels, presentations, insights, and live streaming from Secure Coding superstars from all over the world. So let's talk a bit why security aware developers are the future hey peter what do you think is the number one reason why we need security savvy developers matthias face it nobody really likes those security guys that are saying no to everything you can't put this up in production because of security ha. i do think we need to break out indeed out of the cycle of rework let's do it right from the start instead of spending 30 times more at the end Reason number three, the pursuit of higher quality secure code. Reason number four, helping to protect our data from cyber attackers. As the first line of defense and closing the cybersecurity expertise gap, there are just not enough security skilled people in this world. So let's enable the developers. And because of that, Matthias, I'm actually hearing that if you're a secure developer, your salary will be better, your career options will be wider, and you'll be hired more quickly just because you know how to develop stuff from the security from the start. I couldn't agree more. One thing that I've noticed is that back in the day, a lot of people worked on open source. And right now, these pieces of open source are powering a critical part of our internet. So you never know where your code ends up. And that's, to be honest, I think that's why secure developers are our future superheroes. So, Matthias, what can participants expect from one of those global tournaments? What are you excited to see? Well, just like Secure Code Warrior being a truly global company, we will have developers and security geeks from all around the world, and they will show off their skill in our biggest competition ever and actually win some awesome prizes. Now, I'm most excited by keeping an eye on that leaderboard because I want to see what the ultimate Secure Code Warrior will achieve in their highest score and which challenges they solve. And we can't wait to hear from people who are new to the platform and get an insight into their experience with it and what they might like to see in the future. So finally, Matthias, your number one tip and trick to kind of make and win and beat this tournament. My number one tip and trick is an obvious one, but play in the language and the, and the framework that you are familiar with. If you're familiar with Java EE, well, pick Java EE as your language and framework and play the tournament, play the challenges in something that you are familiar with. Do you have another tip and trick, Peter? Well, the only other one I can think of is that when you stuck, don't give up, don't go and run away. But when you're stuck, you can use the hints now, those hints, of course, they will cost you points. They will affect your score, but use them so that you can keep on moving because both precision and speed will help people advance on the leaderboard towards the number one goal. Excellent. We like to thank you for joining us. And we do declare this very first Secure Code Warrior Dev Olympics officially as open. Now, best of luck to all the participants. Stick around if you want to watch more of our Brave Athletes Complete and also hear from experts from AWS, Atlassian, Allianz, and so many more. Thank you. Thank you very much.